Our main guy today is called James. It was the summer of 2018, and James and his girlfriend planned to leave school and rent a house together. His girlfriend took him around to look at houses. With temperatures approaching 40 degrees, James found it too hot and didn't want to look around anymore, so he found a house quickly. At that time, the guy showed them the house was a middleman landlord, not the actual owner. The middleman landlord had once hurriedly shown him the house, leading him in for a quick tour. Here's the toilet, there's the computer desk, and that's the bed, he said in about 10 seconds before leading him out. Although it was strange, the landlord was not one to linger. Later that afternoon, the landlord called James, saying that he had already moved out and left his key on the computer desk. James thought, well, no need to waste time, and decided to go with his girlfriend to the house. That evening, when they pushed open the door, it only opened halfway and couldn't be moved any further. James looked at the entrance and saw a clothes rack about the height of a person. He thought it was in the way and moved it aside. To his surprise, he discovered a woman's photo hanging behind the clothes rack on the left side of the entrance. The woman was wearing a red top with her hair down, like one of those graduation photos where you randomly choose a person, crop it, enlarge it, and put it in a frame. The image was blurry and not clear, with a white background. However, for some reason, James felt that the woman's eyes in the photo were following him as he moved. So he took the photo off and placed it facing the wall. That night, as James's girlfriend finished showering and came out of the bathroom, drying her hair, she said to him, Hey, were you want to using the bathroom? Just now, I got a scare when you leaned against the door. James turned around and said, What are you talking about? I was playing games just now, and I wasn't there. Suddenly, he noticed that the woman's photo had been hung back up. He asked his girlfriend, why did you hang it back up? His girlfriend replied, I didn't touch your things, and besides, I have no idea when you took it down. As he looked at the photo again, James felt like the woman in the picture was suppressing a laugh. This time, he didn't take it down. Instead, he grabbed a towel and covered it up. The next morning, when he woke up, his girlfriend had already gone to class. Surprisingly, the towel was covering his face, so he quickly sat up and noticed that the photo had fallen to the ground again. After that incident, coupled with the fact that a neurotic old man lived next door, they both need to spoke very quietly in the house. Gradually, neither of them wanted to stay there anymore. His girlfriend said, talk to landlord and ask for a refund. Let's move out. But when James called the middleman landlord, the person simply refused to refund and insisted that there was no problem with the house. When he mentioned the photo, the landlord hung up the phone. His girlfriend got angry and went back to live at school. James also thought of going back, but then he thought, no, I have to mess with the middleman landlord. I'll go back and play games shout loudly, knock on the door, and slam the table. When the old man comes knocking on the door, I'll confront him. I'll bring the landlord with me. I won't let you be a middleman landlord anymore. And that photo, you also want to oppose me, right? I'll nail it with four nails on the wall, fix it there, and see if it falls again. That evening, with his back facing the door, he played Dota with his roommate. While playing, he said, let's go out for some barbecue later in the evening. His roommate replied, forget it, it's the ghost festival today, I'm not going out. James shivered at that moment and turned his head to look at the photo on the wall. His teammate shouted, hey, captain, a big one from you would be great. He quickly turned back, 
wanting to continue playing the game, but he heard a loud bang behind him. Then the glass on the table shattered, and a nail fell. He turned around and saw the frame lying on the floor, and all four nails had flown out. Slowly, he walked over and flipped the photo over with his foot. The photo was empty now. Only the background remained. The woman had disappeared. Then, from the corner of his eye, he saw a woman standing in the middle of the bed with disheveled hair. In that moment, he ran with all his might, kicked the door of the next room, and shouted loudly. The neurotic old man scolded and said, Stop making noise. Ignoring James running out, the old man directly shouted into the room. Hey, I'm telling you, what's with this girl? Can you guys stop making so much noise? He paused for a moment, then suddenly got pulled inside. Later, James had no idea what happened. It was clear that the house was not fit for living. The next day, he asked his classmates to help him retrieve his computer, but as for the mattress and bedding, he didn't care about them anymore. He couldn't contact the middleman landlord either. His girlfriend said, you know about your computer, but what about that photo of us and the necklace? Why didn't you bring them back? It was a silver necklace, and when opened, it could hold a photo inside. However, when James asked his classmates for help, they all refused. Visiting that house is like inviting eight days of bad luck. I'm not willing to go. So, a long time passed, and it was already winter. He and his girlfriend were out for a walk when they passed by that neighborhood and ran into the old man downstairs. The old man recognized James and took the initiative to speak. So you guys moved out, huh? Your things were thrown out, but I kept them for you. Do you still want your bedding? At that moment, James's girlfriend mentioned the necklace. The old man furrowed his brows for a while and said, Oh, wait a moment. Ah, necklace. Oh, I remember. It's here with me. Who wants to come up and get it? They were very grateful, but they couldn't understand why the old man's attitude had changed so drastically. James went upstairs to get it, standing at the old man's door. His attention was focused on the door of the house they had rented before. When he turned his head, he saw the old man wearing red clothes, with the necklace tightly around his neck almost suffocating him. He was holding a picture frame and looking at him with a crooked body, humming and laughing. Suddenly, he ran towards James, screaming loudly, and frightened, James ran down the stairs with his girlfriend. They ran back to school together. After coming down for a while, they realized that the middleman landlord must know what had happened. The more they thought about it, the scarier it became. James immediately called the middleman landlord, and in a fit of anger, he spoke his mind, letting the landlord know that he had made the middleman landlord unable to continue being a landlord. After listening to everything, the person on the other end of the line only said one sentence. When you say landlord, the person in the photo is the landlord. After saying that, they hung up the phone, and they could never contact him again.